You get uh, info about all of our upcoming tournaments, everything like that. Every time we stream, it goes live. You get an email so you can know to tune in. So for like surprise events like this with Mike Hayes and Ice showing up on a Tuesday night, you don't miss any of the action. Also follow us on Twitter where you can see tweets from uh, the, the great Lyric who kind of keeps keeps track of everything going on here at Naps. So shouts out to her. Alright, so IBEW off a fresh win against Smuckers. Now they're gonna take it in the ditto against Slox. That's a top five place for him, and with the, the caliber of people here, that's a really good. Alright, so Slox uh, playing the Blue Fox. Uh, pretty sick shine spike, doesn't recognize uh, properly Fox's height. I think, um, oh wow, so Slox pretty much in control. Uh, actually, absolutely in control. I mean, oh. EW, um, wow, Slox kind of, kind of misses that up. Going ledge dash in tournament is just like a very bold maneuver. Well, uh, I think it comes with uh, kind of like the timing of everything, like, if you kind of if you kind of got got the tech skill to put out your options, um, especially off the ledge, like there's a lot of comfort that comes with that. And if your opponent's not too familiar with the ledge or very comfortable around there, they're they're gonna flub. They're gonna they're gonna commit to an approach too soon. Um, and you're gonna grab them. You're gonna hit them. You're gonna combo them. You're gonna juggle I can, them. I can definitely uh, get flashbacks of getting invincible up smash by like a, a ledge dashing fox. Not right. like Yoshi's especially. That's sort Even of like, the, the left end, but uh, yeah. neither of these guys are, oh wow, supercharged. Uh, Slox doesn't uh, just leave it straight up for Smash DI off the up throw, but that's cool. IBDW coming from the ledge with a falling up air. Not safe at all compared to ledge dash up smash, which is fully invisible. Oh, so th this, is, uh, this is my, uh, my main. My main is Fox, so uh, I definitely have been studying this matchup quite a bit. Um, and really, it, it comes down to how, <laughs> how how well can you recognize that you're no longer killing them and that you're going to end up killing yourself. <laughs> you, forget it for, you, you forget that you could just die <laughs> because you're so hell-bent on... I'm killing them, man. It's crazy. And I was commentating teams earlier. I saw that so many times where they'd go out for an edge guard and then just like you get turned around on them. Right. <laughs> like the fl oh, that's really important. That. But the flames, the flames though. Uh, uh, reminiscent of Jonas Brothers in uh, 2000 and 2003. Shout outs to the shout outs to that ever, ever happening. That is a throwback and a half. Exactly. Um, maybe a uh, Nelly. Straight up, uh, what was it? 2001, I think. It's hot in. Pretty sure I had that on like a. Uh, now that's what I call music back in the day. Oh God. Uh, that's really throwing it back. So, uh, are you familiar with Kids Bop? Oh, of course. <laughs> Kids Bop's one through 74. <laughs> kind of like uh, there's probably been just as many nebs as there have been uh, Kids Bop. Kids Bop albums. <laughs> <laughs> we should okay. So I would need to research this. Yeah, I would love to see like uh, a montage of every neb synced up to like a Kids Bop album. <laughs> we're, we're we're just we're getting closer to present day at each and every uh, each and every nebs, essentially. I mean that's what it is. Every every nebs we uh we try to revolutionize the game a little bit more. Which player has won the tournament with the best track list corresponding to Kids Bop? That's, oh, wow. that's some that's some data I want to find out. I think there was a uh, that that a Kelly Clarkson song uh, because of you and uh, like every other song she ever made was on there. <laughs> I think she had a really good uh, what is it record deal or something? Yeah, 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 record deal. She had a good one. Oh, he's at standstill up smash. That's that that's the stuff I like. Standstill up smash. G money would not do that, of course, because Puff is too good. But. Fox is also too good as well. All right, these guys uh, these guys don't seem to be shooting the gun, like creating more space very often. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that was a good pickup. Uh, Slock's recognizing there's no missed tech off the soft air. Up smashes. 
So, Berta, do, do, you, do you play Falco? No, I play uh, Samus. Oh, my. Yeah. So you're, actually you're a the, robot, then. <laughs> I actually got the same question today. Somebody sat down and was like, so you play Falco, right? And I was like, nah. I'm just trying to throw you off with my name. Oh, that's that's messed up, dude. No, I'm just a big Eric Andre fan. Oh, well, uh, you know... Wait, really? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what the name's from, so... Well, uh, birds are my favorite animal, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shame I'm not a Falco mate. I uh, tried. I'm not familiar with all of American cinema, but I'm definitely familiar with uh, Mango vs. Armada at all your premiere events. <laughs> so shout out to Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. Oh, so Slox totally, absolutely in control. Uh, as he's, I guess, kind of been this whole set. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know if coming to a smaller stage is really like working out too well for IBDW. His locks is pretty technical. Uh, not that IBDW is not. Because look at that ledge dash to shield. He just waited. Ooh, Randall there. So I mean ledge dash, uh, like the ledge dash option is so inherently like advantageous. Oh, oh that is that. get off snap. Anyway, um, yeah, it's so it's so good, it's so invincible, like it's so broken that. Ledge dashing the shield, like, uh, unless you're Marth where you don't have a lot of actionable frames, like, afterwards that are invincible, like, you should probably, like, do something, like, up tilt, or, like, nair, or, like, shine. Do you get. Or, or up smash, or just something that's not a uh, shield. As, as a dirty <laughs> floaty player, do you get extra distance, like, ledge dashing on this, like, angled side of Yoshi's? Uh, oh, wait! Oh, this is gonna be sick. It's about to be ill! Oh, oh, oh that was sick. Wait, wait, wait. So the like angles in Yoshi's? Yeah, so like the angled edge of Yoshi's, do you get extra distance when you ledge dash up that or? Uh, so okay, uh I don't think so. I think it's like kind of the same stuff. More or less. If you're more perfect, you get more crispy, more uh lengthy ledge uh wave dashes. What yeah. ledge dash, whatever you you call it I guess. But the the, so, the like that that little angle is like really, really Really frustrating sometimes because you'll you'll think that you're you're spacing your up B like safely. Oh wow, this is this is yet again. I don't know why he went back. This is yet again like a huge destruction game. But like the like the ledges here are like kind of weird, but they don't really influence the neutral in like the center stage. Like it's more of like the transitioning to edge guards and stuff like that. It'll throw you off, especially against like characters with like insane down tilts like Marth or yeah. Uh, Oh I actually feel like Samus is up to does, does some like funky stuff on this stage. This Lox is way too good right now. Way nice. too good, dude. Also, to answer the question that I saw in the chat, yes, you can come to Nebulous just to play friendlies. We have plenty of setups. Uh, all you gotta do is pay to get uh, pay venue fee to get is this, in. Is, is this gonna be a force now? I, for IBDW's sake, I would hope not, but. The way it's going, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, commentator's curse. Okay, um, I, I, I don't really see how Ivy can do this. Um, nice, that full hop was so sick. I think he kind of like needed that. <laughs> he definitely needed that. Like most of the that was oh! so dope. All right. And Randall gave him so many options. It's crazy. This game is sick. This game is sick.